we'll start with number three. Um, it says find the the probability of A or B, and it says here that A and B are disjoint. So the probability of A is 0.3, and the probability of B, something else, is 0.1. Remember we said that uh, with disjoint events, it means that there's no way that they could happen at the same time. So either this is going to happen, or this is going to happen, and they could never uh, intersect at all. So this should just be, well, let's see, the probability of A or B would just be the probability of A plus the probability of B. And, uh, and there's, when we add these together, we're not counting anything twice. Um, if you wonder what I mean by that, watch the intro video. So we don't need to take anything away, so we just get 0.4, and that's the probability of either A or B happening. Um, in 9, we have uh, these probabilities. So here's the, the probability of A is 0.5, so we'll draw a little circle for that, and the probability of B is 0.37, so a little bit smaller. And the probability of A and B, or uh, something in A happening at the same time as something in B happening, is 0.2. So here we have this whole big circle is 0.5, this is 0.37, and right in the middle they share 0.2. So we can add these two together and then just take this away, because when we add 0.5 plus 0.37, uh, this 0.5 has 0.2 in it, and this 0.37 has the same 0.2 in it, so we're going to take one of those 0.2s away. So here we have 0.87 minus 0.2 is 0.67. Now let's move down to number 13. Okay, so the probability of A or B, um, if there's a possibility of them happening at the same time, which this shows that there is a one-seventh possibility of that happening. Uh, it's just going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B. But apparently we're counting one-seventh here and also again here, um, and that's that one-seventh chance that they both happen, so we just need to take one-seventh away. Probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. We get five sevenths. Okay. Um, on to 21. So we're going to take one card out of a deck of cards, just like we talked about in the intro video, and we want to know what's the probability of a king or a diamond. Okay, so what's the probability of a king of a king. Well, that's how many kings are there? There's four of them out of the 52 cards, so that's the probability of picking a king. Plus, what's the probability of a diamond? Well, there's 13 diamonds out of the 52 cards. Okay. And perhaps they're overlapping. Is there a, prob a probability of a king and a diamond? Yeah, there's the king of diamonds. There is one out of the 52 cards that is the king of diamonds. So it's both king and diamond. So we have uh, 13 plus 4 is 17, minus 1 16 out of 52. Uh, so let's see, that's 8 out of 26, or 4 out of 13. Four out of thirteen chance that we are going to pick a king or a diamond. And what's the probability of a six and a face card? Six and a face card. It's important to think about these things because we need to, you know, we just had to do it. We just had to think about what's the probability of king and a, a diamond. So what's the probability of six and a face card? A face card by definition is a jack, queen, or king, that's what a face card is, so none of these are sixes, so you can't have a six and uh, a jack, queen, or king, right? We're just picking one card, and there's no way it can be a six and a face card, so this would be not possible, be zero probability.
are supposed to find um, the probability of A and B. So just remember the probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus probability of B minus that intersection of A and B. So if we want to find A and B, let's just solve for A and B. So we'll add A and B to both sides. So we get the probability of A and B. And we'll subtract the probability of A or B uh, from both sides. So we get the probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A or B. So we'll just follow this formula to find A and B. Uh, so the probability of A and B equals probability of A, which is 0.25, plus 0 0.4, that's B, minus 0.5. Okay, so 0.25 plus 0.4 um, is, let's see, 0 0.65 minus 0 0.5 is 0.1. So this is 0.15. So the question is, are these two events, A and B, joint or uh, disjoint? Disjoint or not disjoint, disjoint or overlapping, however you want to think about it. Um, well, there is a, a middle piece to this. There's A and there's B, and in between is, here, let's just put an arrow, 0.15. So they must be overlapping. Or in the book, they refer to it, well, they say overlapping, and then they, in the answer, ask if it's disjoint or not disjoint. So it's kind of silly. But this is the same thing. Overlapping, not disjoint. Disjoint would mean that they are not joint, but these are joint. So you get this double negative here, not disjoint. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know, comment, message me, or whatever if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.